Hi guys. So today I would like to start my discussion on uh, exotic options. But before we actually talk about pricing of exotic options, I want to actually discuss a very important concept called reflection. And using this concept of reflection, we can actually uh, derive a couple of very important uh, distribution functions. And these distribution functions which we are going to derive in this lecture are going to be used later on when we're talking about pricing of exotic options okay so today the lecture is all about uh, the reflection principle of a Brownian motion okay so before we talk about reflection principle let's first understand what is first passage time so let's assume that we have a Brownian motion and we have a level here given by M so this is the level M and our Brownian motion starts at zero and it takes some path okay and this is time on the x-axis we have time so what is first passage time first passage time is the earliest time at which Brownian motion takes a particular level okay so if you want to basically look at first passage time first passage time of a Brownian motion to level M that basically is denoted by tau of m and this is the earliest time the Brownian motion basically reaches that level. So if you look at this particular path, this is level m. The earliest time that Brownian motion reaches that level m is right here. This would be tau m. Okay, so tau m is basically minimum of time greater than or equal to zero such that the Brownian motion achieves a particular level and in this case level M okay and if the Brownian motion never basically achieves that level then basically tau of M is equal to infinity okay tau of M is equal to infinity or basically first passage time is infinity if the Brownian motion never achieves that level okay otherwise it basically is the earliest time when Brownian motion achieves that level M okay that's given by this minimum of time such that Brownian motion is equal to that level okay so this basically is called first passage time and now what we want to do is we basically are interested in figuring out the distribution of first passage time okay so let's see how we can use the reflection principle to come up with the distribution of first passage time to level M okay okay so now let's consider the reflection principle so let's graphically first understand what's going on so this axis we have time and let's assume that this is time T okay and this is level some level M okay so we're going to have a Brownian motion that basically starts at time zero it's going to start at zero then we are only considering those paths right now which basically reach a level m before time t so if they reach a level m before time t that basically means mathematically we can say that tau of m is less than or equal to t okay that basically means that the first passage time is less than t okay that basically guarantees this basically guarantees that we've reached a level m before time t so let's basically draw one such path let's assume that this is a path that the Brownian motion takes and at this point it basically crosses level m and after it crosses level m it finally at time t it ends up coming down and this level is basically w okay so this is the first passage time this basically is denoted by tau of m okay and if basically this is level w then this distance from m this basically is nothing but m minus w right now what we want to do is we want to construct a reflected path and the way we construct a reflected path is between time 0 and tau of m the path basically remains the same but after tau of m we basically interchange the up and down movement okay so here if the path is going up the reflected path would actually go down and would be a mirror reflection of this path 
mirror reflection along this particular level n okay so this would be a mirror reflection of this path I'm trying to do the best I can basically drawing a mirror but this basically is going to be these two paths beyond this point would be a mirror reflection of one another okay and if this basically en ended up at W this path would end up at this distance is still going to be m minus w and the total level would be this is m m plus m minus w is 2m minus w okay so if this basically path ends up at level w the reflected path would end up at 2m minus w the most important thing to actually notice here is because of these these two paths basically are result of the same up and down movement the only difference is this basically here after this up and down movement we basically interchange okay for every up movement we basically do a down movement here but is the result of the same up and down movement the probability of these two parts is exactly the same so mathematically we can say probability that tau m is less than t that basically means that we've reached a level m before time t and w t is equal to w which is basically this path this probability is the same as this reaching at 2m minus w okay and because these two paths are the result of the same up and down movement the only thing here is it basically is a reflection so we basically have interchanged the up and down movement but it basically is the same up and down movement right so if this path reaches here the reflected path will reach 2m minus w and the probability if we know what are the probability of reaching this particular level the probability of reaching this particular level is going to be just the same okay but because we are dealing with brownian motion these probabilities of reaching exactly at w or 2m minus w would be equal to zero okay because this is path of a brownian motion so we need to basically look at parts of all brownian motions that basically end up below m so we basically are looking at levels below m okay that end up at below m and their reflected paths so paths of basically we want to look at parts of the brownian motion which reach level m before time t and the value of the brownian motion at time t is less than equal to w so basically you're looking at all the paths here which end up below w and the reflected path the reflected paths are going to be paths which are greater than equal to 2m minus w right this would be a reflection of this path so we basically and with the same argument that we basically had here these pro two probabilities are going to be the same so the probability is now of paths that basically reach a level m and that end up below w is equal to probability that the path of the brownian motion ends up above 2m minus w okay and this probability is not going to be zero okay because we are dealing with infinite many paths here infinitely many paths here but this inequ this equality is basically called the reflection equality okay and it's a very important e equality and we're going to use this reflection equality to basically come up with some important distribution functions and first distribution function that we want to look at is basically distribution function of first passage time and we're going to use this equality to come up with the distribution function for first passage time to level n okay so very quickly again we basically wanted to come up with this re reflection equality and the way we did that was we basically constructed a reflected path so after tau of m basically we interchange the up and down movement so if this particular path ended up at level w this path would end up at level 2m minus w okay and because um, these two paths were the result of same up and down movement the probability of these two paths were the same okay but because we are dealing with paths of a brownian motion the probability that the brownian motion ends up exactly at w is basically equal to zero so we needed to look at uh, we then we, we looked at paths which basically ended up below level w and their reflected paths and their reflected paths would be paths that basically end up above 2m minus w okay and just using the same argument these two probabilities are going to be same okay 
and this equality is basically called the reflection equality okay hopefully this re reflection equality was clear because now we're going to be using this equality to come up with the distribution um, function for first passage time okay so let's see how that is going to be done <laughs> 